National Geographic Channel presents an exclusive deeper dive into Cosmos. The original Cosmos obviously featured a lot of historical recreations, and it was the one part of the series that the network, and I think rightly so, was a little worried that it might not update all that well, as well as some of the other stuff. Seth MacFarlane had the brilliant idea of animating the life stories, the dramas that we tell in Cosmos. And Seth, with his army of brilliant animators and his imagination, knew that we could really bring it to life. We wanted to make sure that we really had a vocabulary that engaged the younger global audience in the stories we're telling. It was Seth MacFarlane's suggestion, given his uh, extraordinary achievement in animation, that that might be a new tool set to tell the stories of these important scientists and the work that they've done. Seth came to me and um, said, I want you to come up with a style of animation for Cosmos. He wanted something sophisticated and unique that didn't really venture into that traditional animation. Some of the inspirations the artists took for the animation in Cosmos were graphic novels, film noir. You'll notice that there's a lot of heavy blacks, heavy shadows in all of our character work. You'll see that the backgrounds are definitely realistic. I think Anne was describing it as sort of evoking a memory, which I thought was a really interesting idea. And there were times when I went to set and, uh, and I expressed some skepticism. And he looked at me because he knew what the process was. And he said, no, this is going to be art. This is going to be gorgeous. You will love this, Annie. He was so right. 